Hi everyone, Paul here from Switched On, and today I'm taking a look at PBA Pro Bowling on the Nintendo Switch. Now before I get to the gameplay and my thoughts, here's some brief information about the game. So, PBA Pro Bowling comes to the Switch from Farsight Studios, who also have published the excellent Stern Arcade Pinball on the Switch, so these guys know a thing or two about ball physics. And a big thanks to them for this copy. It features a lengthy 100 event career mode, quick play, arcade mode, and a really cool continuous online tournament mode, which I'll come to in my gameplay. PBA Pro Bowling costs £19.99 and $19.99, and is available right now after releasing on the 22nd of October. Right, so hi, welcome to the gameplay section. So here we have PBA Pro Bowling. It's the main menu, we can play a quick play match. There's a career mode, which we'll have a look at in a second. Local multiplayer, online tournaments, settings and the pro shop. So we might as well start at the pro shop as we're there now. This game does feature in-app purchases, just to be warned. So you buy these golden pins, which you can wear, uh, can win, sorry, during the career mode. But just to give you an idea, if you want to purchase them and speed up your purchases, 99 cents for 100 gold pins, right the way up to $99.99, and that will get you 20,000 gold pins. You can see in the top right hand corner, currently have 200 pins, 50,000 tickets or just over, and you can convert um, pins into tickets at a rate of one pin for 100 tickets. You need the tickets to buy things with. So let's have a look at the ball section first. So here are the balls that I've currently got unlocked. And then these ones here, um, so the pinball one here will cost me either 400 tickets or 10 pins. You can choose which currency to use. There is some cool balls here like this, uh, these XP grinders. Now you can see here on the right hand side at the bottom, it gives you some information about the extra XP you get if you use these balls. So you get 300 XP per turkey if you use the turkey ball here. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, bowling, a turkey is when you get three strikes on the trot. Uh, 400 for a hand bone now, so when you get four on the trot. Uh, this ball here, the caffeinator, gives you 15 X XP extra per strike and five XP extra per spare. So, lots of different sorts of balls here. They're not just cosmetic. They do give you different things. Special boosters here give you different abilities if you unlock those. And then finally, pin earners here let you earn extra pins for different stuff that you do in the game. I really like that idea, that's cool. Um, venues, you can unlock these here with pins. So let's ask me if I wanna buy pins, I don't. But you can unlock different um, venues here. It's quite a lot of venues. I think there was 20 different venues possibly. Oh, I told you at the top there, 28. 28 different venues, so that's cool. I mean, you know, basically one bowling lane's the same as the other, but you could say that about football, one pitch is the same as the other. Yeah, you know, it's nice. If you're into bowling and you want authenticity, it's definitely here in this simulation because here are all the pros. Apparently, all pros from the actual PBA Tour. 18 of them now. Must admit, off the bat, I mean, if you haven't realised already, I'm not a uh, you know a, a big follower of bowling. I do like bowling, but you know my bowling is limited to going down the arcades with my mates and uh, having a couple of drinks and throwing a few balls down the lane, but. Other than that, I've never really watched a, a PBA game at all. So anyway, you can use your pins here to buy uh, different oil patterns as well on the lanes. So anyway, just want to get that section out, out, the, uh, out of the way straight away up front, just to let you know that, that there is in-app transactions. Okay, settings, you got your standard settings. You can switch to an arcade mode here that lets you use sort of comedy balls that sort of explode the pins and that sort of thing. I'm not really interested in that. I want to stick to the simulation side. Control-wise, it has got motion controls. Must admit, I've tried them. I don't like them. They're nowhere near as good as uh, Wii Sports Bowling. I don't think it's any game that's ever now the, uh, the actual mechanical feeling of bowling a ball like Wii Sports. So they are here if you want to try them out. Um, but for me, it wasn't very fun. You can only obviously use a Joy-Con as well not a pro controller if you want to use the motion controls. But let's get into some of the modes. We'll, we'll have a quick play game, but we're gonna talk about the career mode. It's got a hundred different um, events that you can play in. All these trophies that you can win as well, 41 different trophies. 
and uh, loads of stats. This game loves the stats, and you'll see that when we start playing. And we've got all these different divisions here to work through, so you obviously get into the next one when you beat the previous one or play through the previous one. So that's a really in-depth career mode. As I said, there's meant to be 100 events, which is really cool. Nice bit of depth there. Um, plenty to, to unlock and stuff, which I really like. Local multiplayer, as it says on the tin, can play with up to four players locally. If you've got some mates around, so that's really cool. Online tournaments is something I really, really like. This is um, just like a running series of online events. Now, you don't actually play head-to-head -head against people, but you sort of post your best score and then the top three scores get rewards. And you can see the clock ticking there in the middle, time remaining. That's how long you've got to finish off the tournament. So sort of that it's in time order. So in two minutes and five seconds, that event will close and we'll get the results out of who won that event. It's a really cool system. I like things like this. And um, you can have a look at your previous events that you've played in. Not many people online at the moment, it has to be said. And uh, you've got previous leaderboards there. So daily, weekly, monthly leaderboards. So all that kind of stuff is really good. I like that. It's going to definitely add to the longevity of the game. Hopefully those online tournaments always stay. Always gives you something to play and aim for. So that's really cool. So we're getting to a game. Show you some actual gameplay. So let's play against somebody. Play against Tommy Jones. Let's pick a bit of a different event here to what I normally play just to get a bit of a different feel. So the PBA Arena, not really sure what oil patterns are, I must admit. So if you're a keen bowler, then please let me know the significance of the oil. I mean, I guess it's to do with how slick the lanes are, how quick they are, how much spin you get on the ball. But uh, so as far as that goes, that's just me surmising. I'm not sure the actual effect it has. So just have a look at some of the presentation. An excellent matchup tonight between the player and Tommy Jones. I believe we're ready to get this thing started. Now the graphics here are a little bit smudgy, it has to be said. I'll say a little bit, I'm being a bit fair. Very smudgy, very low res. Uh, I wouldn't even like to hesitate to guess what kind of resolution this is, but it isn't very high. But it does feel really good. It's smooth to play. And it does feel smooth. The ball physics look good. The bowling animations look quite good and quite authentic. And so in an actual match, it does give you that sort of TV style impression. So I really like that. So anyway, let's have a look at the shot. So you press left and right here on the stick to move your character's aiming laterally, left and right. If you press R or L on the controller, it brings up this other meter, which sort of gives you your angle. So you want to be kind of bowling that kind of way, and then we'll put some spin on the ball. Now, just to say here at this point that there is an update coming to all consoles, because uh, this game came out on all consoles on the same day. There is an update coming that will change the control method slightly, which will allow you to apply your spin before you bowl. Now, personally, I much prefer that. I used to hate the old Tiger Woods games, golf games, where you'd sort of hit the ball into the air, and then magically you could control the spin in the air, which is really unrealistic. bit like this game at the moment, you bowl the ball down and you control your spin afterwards. And uh, thankfully, as I say, they are bringing an update to the game, which will let you apply the amount of spin you want to use before you bowl the ball, which will be much more realistic. So hopefully that will come soon. Just before I bowl the ball, you can press X there to bring up your other balls that you've got unlocked. Uh, so on the ones on the left-hand side there are arcade balls. We can ignore those. We don't want to use those. On the ones on the right-hand side here are, uh, are slots you've got to add two different types of balls in. You can unlock more slots, obviously, as you level up, as you can see there. Um, so that's uh, a nice touch as well because they will all do different things to different weights and spins and stuff. So we're going to bowl the ball here. We'll set up our bowler. It's right uh, back on the right stick, sorry. So pull back on the right stick. And then quickly forward. The speed you knock it forward is the sort of speed the ball goes, the faster it goes. And then, as I say, you apply your spin afterwards with left and right on the uh, right stick. So there we go. It's my first ball down the lane. And 8 10 split. So you can see some really nice TV style presentation. I like that a lot. 
a there you go. Even the uh, right here. UI there is a bit uh, blurry. So I'm sorry if I keep going quiet. I want to uh, go quiet so you can hear the TV commentators and stuff, which are quite good. They're a bit repetitive, as you'd expect, but adds a nice bit of atmosphere. I think the whole TV style presentation of this game is really good. Really enjoy that, so that's cool. And you get these little stats. You can see here the uh, the two pins that are left are an 8-10 split. And you'll get these little stats pop up in the bottom corner, which tell you the typical conversion rate of a pro on the tour. So if I've an 8-10 split here is you know 0.1% chance of converting that usually. So it's not looking good. Hoping to oh, I was hoping to clip that pin and send it here. flying across. Didn't Everybody happen. You just gotta find a way so to that's get fine. So we only pick up eight points from our first bowl. Now up, Tommy so you see transitions here TV between after that outstanding 05, 06 season. ourselves and the CPU bowler pretty quick. You see there, the animations, I know they look a little bit PlayStation 2. The graphics, not the best player models. They look a little bit odd, a little bit deformed. But all that said... I just really like the presentation, to be honest. And I know, as I say, they're not the best graphics. Look a bit smudgy. They're going to get pulled apart in reviews and stuff. But I'm glad they're there. That's all I'm saying. Because it gives you this nice feel that you're actually playing against somebody. And a nice couple of strikes there for the CPU player. Who obviously knows what he's doing. As opposed to what I'm trying to do. So I'm already a big chunk of points behind. Oh, I'm gonna kill that too much. But we've left quite and it should be quite an easy pickup with that spell. What's that? The one, two, six, is it left? We'll see what happens here. One three six. So we just do a straight one down and we should take those out. Yes, get the spell. No Lovely stuff. So we try another curl. That's better one. Ooh, that's unlucky. With just the six remaining. Take down nine, left the six pin up. That should be an easy get. 97.5% conversion rate here. That's your tour average. There you go. Should pick that up quite nicely. And so, yeah, as you can see, I mean, you know, it's not worth putting loads and loads of gameplay of this one up because it's pretty same thing over and over again. Just you versus the CPU. Or in the tour, you're sometimes just yourself just trying to get the highest score, now. which is a bit of a shame because you don't really get to see the other, other bowlers bowling. Different kind of a view again now. Ooh, wasn't a strike down. from the, the AI. Ten. But yeah, as I say, presentation-wise, good. Gameplay, good. Physics feel nice. Controls feel nice. Really nice um, sort of smooth frame rate. No problems with that. It's just the graphics are a little bit smudgy. But everything else I'm digging. There's not many bowling games on the Switch. And what there are, the sort of um, cartoony, arcadey things. This is the only bowling simulation, really, on the Switch. So if you're really into your bowling... Um, you know, if you if you follow the PBA or just really enjoy bowling, just want something a little bit different, really. So we're still waiting for a golf game on the Switch, and this is kind of you know, golf snooker bowling, all kind of in that simulation style ballpark of uh, of niche sports. So if you like those sort of sports as well, I would definitely recommend looking into this. Uh, it's a shame it's got those microtransactions, but you know, you can pretty much ignore those. Wow, nice strike by the AI right there. there. So yeah, that is PBA Pro Bowling on the Switch. Let me know what you think about this one below. Uh, I'm digging it. Do you like these sort of physics-based sports games? Let me know below. Until then, I will catch you guys on the next video. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.